Hey folks, it is Matt with Storm and Real Fan 96, and here is System Test 9. I got some expansions to show you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we are in the basement, none of the fire alarms or pole stations have changed in from the previous video except from the expansion which I'm about to show you. So right here I got my Notifier NBG-10L Spectre Alert Classic. Now here's the thing, here's a brand new set of wires coming from it, going into there. It actually goes into the crawl space and then up to where uh, the expansion is. So let's go ahead and show you guys where that is. Okay, so we're in my garage right now, and earlier I had done a test to see the areas in the house where you could hear the existing fire alarms, and this was the only place you could not hear any alarms. So, thankfully, I convinced my parents to let me put one up in here, and uh, so I did. So, let's go ahead and jump into that. For the alarm, it's just another Spectre Alert Classic P2475. Yes, I have a lot of these. <laughs> Thanks to a friend, so thank you. And so this is uh, actually going to be the surprise here. This is the notification appliance, or sorry, the initiating device here in the garage. It's a pole station. Any guesses? It is my FCI MS2L. Yeah, so it's a very unique pole station. This is actually one that you need a key to activate so the reason I have this in the garage is because in case we have the garage door open or whatnot and we want to have, and people walk along and they're like ooh fire alarm they can't come in here and pull it and cause a false alarm they actually have to have a key to get in to the pull station so yeah I uh, am glad to have this pull station it's very uh, it's nice for the most part uh, I'll make a review about it later. But anyway, so I do have neighbors outside right now, and this alarm is kind of loud. I have it on low volume, but it's still decently loud, so I'm going to make this quick here. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let me put in hearing protection, and we'll go ahead and get started. So you put your key in, turn it, now it's unlocked. You have to have two keys to reset this pull station, so... Yeah. All right. Anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, so, I'm going to go ahead and go upstairs and show you guys audible silence in the garage. As you can see, we still have it down here in the basement. So, I'll also grab that spare key that fell into the recycle bin. I love that audible silence. So, let's go ahead and go upstairs and show you guys audible silence. And yes, we got audible silence in here. I'll go ahead and turn the lights off. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, this is a very nice pole station. The only, uh, there's two downsides to it. I'll mention it real quick. One is that you need two keys to reset it. And two, uh, the reset portion right here, when it's activated, it's hard to uh, reset. It's a little sticky. And we've tried everything we can, and it's, uh, we've, it's a lot better than what it was when we first got it. So, <sighs> thankfully... Uh, it's not a, as big of an issue now. The key can turn easily now. Earlier it could not. So, yeah. So yeah, here we are in audible silence. So let's go ahead and go back down to the basement and reset. Yeah. 
So that upstairs pole or that garage pole station is hooked up to zone one for future reference. So yeah, let's go ahead and reset. All right. All right, so that's going to be it for System Test 9 and also the Mate Fire Alarm Test. I might do others, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, so that's going to be it. Thanks for watching.